All right. We'll give them a little bit of smoke. Just to let them know that we're fixing to come in. Lots and lots of bees on the inside. This frame's got a nectar on the side. That in the middle is a cap worker brood. And got a little bit of pollen around the bottom. Worker brood, capped honey, a little bit of nectar, and a little bit of pollen around the outside edge. It's looking like, just from that first frame, that these bees need some room, room to move. They're being a little feisty. I'm getting bumped, so uh, I'm going to put a little more smoker smoker on them. I try not to smoke them too much, but sometimes you have to get them there like they got some sense. Now, if I add Got one of my fans. If I add another box on this, which I am going to, look at that. Nothing but worker brood. Queen still laying. Good, good, good. I'm not going to go any further in this hive because I really don't think I need to. I'm just going to get another box and uh, I'm going to put it on another box on top and I'll show you what I'm going to do when I do that. Now I'm a firm believer when you add another box onto a, a frame, you need to uh, move a couple frames up that gives the bees incentive to move up. Now. Uh, what I've got here is some uh, wax foundation and some old drawn out comb. Some of the uh, wax moths have worked over a little bit as you can see, wax moth damage. Get a little closer so you can see it. Wax moth damage. They'll fix that or supposed to fix it. I've got some uh, other drawn out comb on plastic foundation. And this right here is drone brood. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera or not, but the bigger cells, that is for drones. What I'll do is I'll put this drone cell on the outside edges of the bottom box and hopefully just fill it with it full of nectar. Uh, being they don't need any drones now because it's kind of late in the uh, summer, early fall, uh, they'll probably just fill it full of honey stores. So that's the only reason why I'm using it right now. And then I got another frame. This is a uh, severe uh, wax moth damage. There's no more wax moths in here. The bees will clean this up and fix it. That's the only reason why I'm putting it in here. Uh, I want to say I have frozen 
this at one time to kill the wax moss. But uh, I'm just going to put it in here and see what to do with it. That'll be our little experiment. So, uh, here's another foundation. That's another drone. I'm going to put one here and one over there. But I'm going to take two of these uh, frames out of here and move them up to the top, and I'll show you how to do that. Now since I've already got that frame over here and this frame taken out, I'm going to put them in this box. And I'll show you that in a minute. I know you can't see that on the screen, but I'll show you one minute. Which I probably could Put this over just a little bit. What I'm doing, I'm getting this ready to put the two frames in. And what I'm doing here, I'm going to put the two frames in the center and then I'm going to put frames on the outside edges of it. So now what I'll do is I'll put those frames in here. It's not really on something. Very level. And what I'm going to do too, since I'm not 100% sure where my queen's at, I'm going to wait and put those frames on there once I get the box on there because I don't want to smush her. Because that would not be good. I don't want to smush a really good queen like the one we have here. thing about moving all these frames at once is everything properlies together so it takes a little extra force. So I'm going to take this frame, put it in here. I'm going to actually use the, the frame to slide the other ones over. That one's in there. I'm going to take this one and put it in over here on this side. After I get the pine straw out. And see how much gap we got right here? I'm going to slide these frames over some more. Just got stung on the finger. Normally when I get stung, I'll take my smoker and I'll smoke that place on my finger where I got stung at to try to cover up the alarm pheromone so I don't get repeat stings. So now that I've got everything like I want to in this bottom box, I'll place this other box on top, just like that. And I'll take these other two frames out from here and put them up top. Now one thing I might need to do, and I think I will do that now, is uh, take this top box back off, set it on its side, and flip this, uh, this hive up, the one with, on the bottom with all the bees, and make sure we don't have any queen cells. I don't think we do. I think I've uh, got to it early enough that we're not going to have to worry about swarming. But uh, we're going to check it and make sure. Normally your swarm cells are going to be on the bottom of your hive.
the bees are getting a little, a little more smokety smoke. smoke and get my head out of the way so y'all can see. Make sure we don't have any queen cells. And we don't, so that's a good thing. So what we're going to do now is put the box back together after I get this stinger out my eyebrow. It's a little cloudy out here today, and we got a, a small chance of thunderstorms, so I think the bees are thinking that the, uh, we got storms or something on the way, so they're being a little pissy, which is fine. Put that back together like that. As you can see, lots and lots of bees on the top of the half. Okay. So what I normally do is I turn it sideways, pop it like that. That way the bees are down in it. Now what I just did, just to explain why I did what I did. If you uh If you move those two frames up right here in the center of this hive, what it does is it forces the bees to move up to take care of that uh, that comb that's up there with the brood and the honey. And a lot of times that will make the bees come on up in that top box and actually start building comb and all of this stuff. we got plenty of goldenrod around here that's blooming. So uh, they should be able to draw a little bit of that top box out and store honey in it uh, as the winter goes along. Of course, I'll be keeping checks on them and stuff. And uh, this is probably one of the hives where I've, uh, I'll actually uh, take back down and, and uh, make it a single box again. But I'm just giving them room now to keep them from uh, being becoming honey bound and uh, swarming on me. Because I actually had a swarm call today. I just couldn't get to it in time and the bees were gone when I got there. So uh, that's how I add a super onto my hive it don't matter if it's spring summer or late fall i always move a couple frames up just because it helps uh get the bees to move up into that new box so uh hope y'all learned something from this today uh please like and subscribe and uh we'll see you on the next one